Hey guys, this is Joe St. Pierre Photography. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video answering your editing questions. Um, on Tumblr, I've been getting asked a lot lately about what I'm doing in my post-processing. So I thought I'd just make a quick little video showing you guys what I'm doing because I really don't have any secrets. Um, I just use Visco Film 01 for almost all my work. Um, if you don't know what Visco Film is, uh, they're just these awesome presets that you can put into Lightroom and they emulate film. So that's just the look I go for and that's I just love them so much. So I'm just going to show you uh, how I use Visco Film in my post processing. So I have three images I'm going to show you. Um, I have all the befores and that's after using Visco Film. So for a shot like this, right now, I use three presets pretty much for all of my work. I use Fuji 400H+, plus, I use Kodak Portrait 160+, plus, and I use Kodak Portrait 800+. Plus. Um, for a shot like this, I'll usually start out with 160 plus and I actually use 160 plus for 90 percent of my work it's my favorite preset so off the bat this is already looking really good to me I mean from the beginning to 160 plus it's just it just has enough punch to it it really brings out the greens it adds a little bit of yellow um, I just I really like it and then from there, um, I'll always go into the Film Toolkit. And in the Film Toolkit, I always use Darker Skies Plus Plus. That brought in her shirt. It brought in a little bit of the blue of the sky there. And I always use Greener Greens just because most of my work is outside and there's usually a lot of green around. And then I'll always use one of the fading and toning. Not, not I can't say I'll use it always, but... A lot of time I'll use Kodak 2, which I use a lot in my more recent work. Um, it wouldn't exactly work for this photo, but I also use Kodak 3, which I'm pretty sure I used on this photo. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for my editing. Um, after that, that's pretty much it for my presets, but after that, I mean, this is a little dense to me. Um, I might bring in just a little fill light. Um, I'll always go in and I'll take out my grain just because I don't really like grain in my photos that much. I might just play around the temperature, maybe take out a little bit of the yellows. That's looking pretty good. And then, I mean, I would call that pretty much done. That is the original and that's just what I edited. So I mean that is extremely close. For the next photo, here's the before and here's the after. Um, just a side note for these shots, I think the first one I shot with um, a 51.8, which I don't have anymore. For this shot I used um, a Canon 28 1.8 and a uh, 5D Mark II, which is what I used for a long time. Um, I've upgraded to the 35L, but the 28 1.8 is an amazing lens, and it's really affordable. So here's the before and an after. So for this one, I think I did 400H, and then again, greener greens, especially because her eyes are green too. Um, I'll do Darker Skies. Darker Skies doesn't always do much, but I just do it for the sake of doing it. And Kodak 3. I'm not really feeling Kodak 3 in this one, just because it's making the image a little dense. So for that, I'll come in. I might add a little more yellow, just because this was in the summer. The fill light. Always take the grain out.
And I mean, that's pretty much done. They're definitely different. Um, I'm not sure. This one I just added a, the exposure up a little, I think. Yeah, and then I just... But yeah, that's that's all I would do for this image. I mean, that's that's done to me, and that was so quick and easy. For this shot, um, my editing would be a little more in depth. Um, I remember that I did a lot more for this image. So here's the final image, and then here's the before. So first off, for this image. Um, I already did it here, but I always come in and I have I have to straighten my horizons because that is just so huge with me having straight images. And then for this one, I'm almost positive I started with Portra 800 plus, and then I came in obviously greener greens and darker skies, and then I definitely did Kodak three come down, always take out my grain. For this image, I'm going to enable profile corrections for the lens, which is just, if you look down here, it's gonna take away that vignette. And it's gonna just make the shadows more visible. Um, also for this one, um, I'm not sure how many of you have this problem. You, If you're used to Lightroom, you might already know about this tool. And if you're not like me, because I'm just, not an editing person. I just, it took me forever to get what I wanted. But usually, not in this shot, I couldn't because of all the shrubbery right here. But usually, um, I'll have my subject and the horizon pretty close to each other. About right here would be the horizon if my subject was there, if this wasn't here. And I say that because when you're shooting at 2.8 or 1.8, you're Sky is going to get blown out. Mine always gets blown out because I don't usually shoot lower than that. And for the longest time, I could not figure out how to get my skies back. But I figured out this tool. And if you lower the exposure, you have your brush. I usually have about a decent amount of feather on it. And you can literally just come in and brush your skies back in. I mean, I would be a little more picky because this is a wedding shot. I'd come back in and I'd just make these highlight again. But that's pretty much all I did. And it just brings so much more detail and life back into your photo. So then this is obviously a little sloppy because I'm just doing it for the video. But there's the final image and then here's the one I just edited. Um, and that's pretty much it for my editing. There's no big secrets. I'm just using Visco Film uh, 01, which you can go and buy right now for 15% off. They're having a sale, I think, until tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys like these type of videos, I'd love to do more for you. If you have any questions for me on portrait work or lifestyle work or even wedding work, I haven't done much of it, but uh, I do shoot weddings. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, I would love to make videos for you guys and help you out. Um, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll have all these images before and after on my blog. And that's it. Have a good one.